Mindful breathing. Negative self-talk. Oftentimes, when we attempt something new or challenging, or we make a mistake, our inner critic shows up. Our critic tells us, you're not good enough. No one will like you. You're pathetic. People will laugh at you. Mindfulness can help turn our inner critic into our inner coach. From critic to coach exercise. Get into a mindful posture. Sit in a chair with both feet flat on the floor. Move up if your feet don't reach. You can also sit on the floor and cross your legs. Put your hands in your lap. Make sure they aren't touching. Sit up straight, but relaxed. Imagine your head being pulled up to the ceiling by a string. Close your eyes or look down so you can focus and are not distracted. Let's go ahead and start with some deep breathing. Breathing in and out. And in and out. If thoughts occur, just acknowledge them without judgment and let them pass on by. Our negative self-talk from our inner critic is just thoughts. And we've already learned that thoughts and emotions can come and go, just like waves on a beach. You can't control your thoughts, but you can try to turn your thoughts, your inner critic, into a coach instead. Our inner critic wants what is best for us, and it doesn't want us to get hurt or experience failure. So it tries to talk us out of doing something that it thinks will bring about a negative outcome. The problem is that our inner critic doesn't tell us the whole picture. It doesn't let us know that the amazing feeling that can occur when we achieve our goals or face our fears. If you've ever had a presenting class, when it's time for the presentation, your inner critic might warn you that people will laugh at you, that they won't like it, that you will forget what to say, but your inner critic forgets to tell you about how proud you're going to feel when you are done, how your class actually is going to respect you and think that you are brave for presenting in front of them and how they will clap and cheer you on afterwards. So we need to turn that critic into a coach. When it says that people will laugh at you, you need to turn it around to standing up takes courage and people will respect you. When the critic says you're going to forget what to say, Turn it around to be a coach to you've been working hard and practicing. You've got this. Think of a recent negative self-talk you've given yourself. You're not good at math. Or perhaps it was you're not good at making friends. Or you're not good enough to make the varsity team. How could you turn it around? What would an encouraging coach say instead?
So when you hear yourself giving yourself some negative self-talk, you have two options. Remember, it's just a thought. So like all thoughts, they're like waves on the beach. You can just acknowledge it and let it go. Or you can turn that critical thought into a coach. What would a coach say? How would they build you up? Take a deep breath in and breathe out. A deep breath in and breathe out. A deep breath in and breathe out. Slowly start to move your hands and legs. Open your eyes. How do you feel? This is a great exercise to use whenever you feel your inner critic needs to be silenced. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.